so what is up everyone this is Karen here welcome back to tech Karen youtube channel and this is the module which we have installed on our device called auto performance and this is a very interesting out of magic module by the way if you're using a device with android version 10 android version 11 this is a magic module which you definitely need to try out to boost performance on your device it's actually a universal module so it doesn't matter if you're using snapdragon or any other device you can install this module you can give it a try of course some things work some things doesn't work on your device let me just try to reboot my device once and let me just tell you that uh, what is the thing what is the procedure to install this module on your device in my case i test I'm using it on my device Nesantara OS and my device is Poco X3 where I, where I tried this, tested it, it was working quite good. All credits goes to its developer. Let me just show you by just going on to my device Magisk first so that you'll get an idea that how you can install this module on device. First of all, after installing this module, what I got to know, just move on here. This is the module which I was talking about called Auto Performance Universal Devices. As this module doesn't have any kind of other UI other kind of Android apps for you to customize anything it will automatically do everything on this command screen whenever you install while you installing this module on magisk manager what I will show you as you can see it has auto switch performance profiles it will tune kernel parameters such as CPU governor CPU boost input output scheduler auto enable gaming mode yes it is good for the gaming also of course it's focus on performance so gaming must be improved this is very good so we have just rebooted our device after uninstalling this module on my device so that I will be able to show you that how you can install this module on a device because installation is of course not tricky one but it's not that easy for a normal user so i thought i should share with you the process of the installation of this module so i'm not gonna pause and play here it's just reboot my device after uninstalling this module and also let me just test how much time it will take to boot into my custom room as nisantara OS is one of the good kind of custom rooms out there will give you a review very very soon on Sintara 3.0 which has Android 12 UI looks quite good I've installed it on my Poco X3 as you can see in my hands I have Poco X3 so device is booted now let's just move on to your magisk first of all after moving into magisk here if you move on here in the module section click on install from storage as a third party module of course click here it will ask you to press a volume key so the first step is to press a volume key before doing anything okay so just press the volume key once now we need to choose the volume up again as it was not detected in my device previously but let me just show you what it will show you here okay so let's volume down it will ask you for the auto performance snapdragon poco f1 or universal just choose according to which device you are using in my case my device does not have snapdragon 625 or 636 or 660 that's why i'm using the universal one i will also recommend you to use the universal one but if you have your device listed here you can try out that after that simply reboot your device and you're good to go this is all from today's short and simple video i hope you like this thanks for watching don't forget to like and share this video goodbye Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air.